A concerned bartender in Vallejo tried calling 911 when a drunken patron wanted to drive home, but her urgency was thwarted. The bartender tells us tonight she was put on hold by police dispatchers for nearly half an hour. Nightbeat's Andrea Borba on what took police so long to respond. It was after midnight at After Hours Bar in Vallejo when bartender Coco Cooper noticed after serving a female patron two Bud Lights, something was off. You could tell that her speech was a little off and they were sitting, you know, trying to conversate with her to sober up. Cooper and the remaining few patrons in the bar tried to convince her to take an Uber or a Lyft to get home. She refused and smoked a cigarette. When she came back in, she was looking for her keys to leave. So at this point, it was like, we're not letting you go. You either take an Uber or we're going to get you a black and white cab. Black and white cab is barcode for police cruiser. Cooper called 911 and waited. These are the photos she took of the bar phone. The duration of the call is in the top right corner. The time is in the bottom left. They said just stay on hold. We'll get somebody there. So I put the phone on speaker. I put the phone down. I started washing dishes, closing, closing down the bar, things like that. And by the time I looked at the phone, it was 15 minutes and 17 seconds. Cooper says she waited 28 minutes for help with the intoxicated patron and even called a sleeping off-duty Vallejo cop she knows for help. When we asked Vallejo PD about it, they told KPIX5 that at 1.30 they dispatched officers to the bar. Vallejo says they arrived at the bar at 1.35 and claimed they didn't see the patron's vehicle. Cooper says she was still inside with the patron and her car was still there. Never did the door open. Was there a knock? Was there a honk? Did we see lights of anything outside? Because at this point, when it's 2 a.m., I called them back again. The patron eventually couldn't be stopped and got in her car. When she turned out of the parking lot, she turned on the wrong side of the street. Cooper again called 911 from her own car, following the drunk patron through residential neighborhoods and into American Canyon. The timestamp on her phone marks that call at 2.16 a.m. I was letting her know the color make of the car. Uh, the name because I closed her receipt with a credit card, um, the license plate number. I let her know every street we're returning on, every car that she almost hit. Finally, officers in American Canyon pulled the drunk driver over, arresting her, and spoke to Cooper. When you drive down the freeway and all you see is report drunk drivers, and you do that, and nobody comes to the rescue, it's like, don't post that. Don't put that on a billboard. On the Nightbeat in Vallejo, I'm Andrea Borba.